With Tucker out of the house, Quinn has won HOH. Will he thrive in this house without his rival? I doubt it, but we will see. This is his first HOH that he earned after his disaster of a secret HOH earlier this season. And as I said in yesterday's video, I felt like Quinn was one of the people that needed this HOH the least. So of course he went and won the HOH where now he has to not only put himself out there as a, a big player again and maybe grow his target again because he's never good at holding in information and he just yaps way too much. But I just genuinely think that by winning this, now Quinn has to put together another alliance that isn't going to work out. This is not the season of alliances, which is something that Twitter needs to get over. They are just refuse to actually catch up with this season and understand that alliances don't mean anything this season. And apparently Quinn doesn't understand it either. Quinn wants to make a six or seven person alliance at final 10. Yeah, that'll work out wonderfully. He is definitely trying to connect with Chelsea and Cam. He was talking about how he wants a core four to be himself, Chelsea, Cam, and T core, but also maybe bring in MJ and Joseph or Leah. I mean, I think that's a seven person alliance that he, he wants. So it's too much. I mean, this is what I mean that Quinn didn't need to do this because I feel like he wants to make this big alliance because he wants to come out of this week not being a target, but it's just not going to work. It's too big of an alliance for Final 10, and just this season, alliances aren't working out. To make matters a little bit even more head-scratching, Quinn's target is Rubina, which for me is great. I said in yesterday's video, that's who I want to go home next, because Rubina is not exactly a player. Um... Her entire game has kind of been centered around Tucker, but also centered around how he how she wants to go through this game without a guy and not be dragged to the end by a guy. And, and now she won't be because Tucker's out of the house, but she does not put in the work to have a social game. She's going around the house complaining that she's already feeling isolated in the house but she's just really hanging out with the people she's been hanging out for weeks now, that being t and Chemo. She's just missing Tucker. Quinn's nominees are Rubina, Chemo, and Angela. And while he's saying Angela is his target to most people, his target really is Rubina. And he knows that's going to piss off t and Chemo. And he knows nominating Chemo is already going to piss off t and Chemo. And that's kind of where he loses more allies. And, like, I get it. They flipped a vote without him, even though they never actually did that. They brought, they tried to bring Quinn in on the plan. He couldn't vote that week. And he didn't want to go through with the plan anyway, even though he couldn't vote. Because he wanted the move to be made when he wanted to make it. Because he was trying to be a puppet master that he ain't. So, like, Quinn's made all these mistakes. He's able to somewhat rebound because the social game is med mediocre, at least. Like, he has a good enough social game to stay out of being the biggest target in the house. But at the same time, it's kind of like getting similar to an, an Angela situation where, like, yeah, maybe somehow he can weasel his way to the end. But can he win a jury vote? Not when people are looking at him like you make all these mistakes and you're, you're constantly snaking people in situations that you don't really need to snake them in. So yeah, I just feel like him winning this HOH, he's losing chemo, t Rubina, which is fine. He never really had Rubina in the first place. And he's already had the situation with chemo where they're kind of like at odds because of the whole Tucker situation, but Tucker is gone now. So it's not like, Quinn and Chemo couldn't regroup from that relationship. He wants to mend fences with MJ, and I just don't think that's going to work. MJ don't have a brain. MJ is always irate about something in some conspiracy theory-like situation. 
He already doesn't have that relationship with Angela that he continues to throw under the bus every chance he gets. So I just don't really understand what Quinn is gaining from this HOH, which is why he shouldn't have won it. He's gaining an ally again in Chelsea and Cam. But like, I think Chelsea's plan is just to use Quinn as like her new shield is like Quinn is the new head of the snake. If he's going to make this core four, you don't think she's going to throw him under the bus at some point. You don't think Chelsea already enacted her revenge on Tucker. You don't think she wants to enact revenge on Quinn, please. It's bound to happen at some point. The other thing yesterday was just Quinn and Leah. Quinn felt that if Leah won this HOH this week, that Leah was going to put him on the block. But does Quinn think, maybe I should put Leah on the block this week then? No, of course he doesn't think that. Once again, they have another conversation where Quinn's just looking at Leah like he is completely enamored with her just complete adoration for leah there is no way that quinn is ever going to stop simping for this lady i think that is just not going to happen twitter continues to act like chemo and tikor's downfall with quinn is that they don't tell him enough about leah and it's like he already knows information about leah They've told him some information about Leah trying to throw him under the bus. He's never going to believe it. Look at the way Quinn is looking at Leah. Adoration. Leah has Quinn wrapped around her finger, and that is not going to change. And props to Leah. With having Quinn and Joseph wrapped around her finger, it's kind of one of the clusters forming in the house. you got the cluster of MJ, Chelsea, and... Cam, where Cam and Chelsea are just kind of using MJ, but that's kind of who she's fallen in with. Of course, you got Chemo, Rubina, and t -Core. One of them could be going home this week. And then you have this cluster of Joseph, Quinn, and MJ. And then, of course, Angela's on the outs with everyone because she has alienated herself for, with her paranoia. I just think that... Um, now Joseph and Quinn want to work together with Tucker gone. Uh, I think that's kind of all Quinn really has. Leah's out for herself. I had a good comment last night. Uh, let's see if I could find it real quick. Fates Gates said, Chelsea and Leah really impressed in the eviction of Tucker. The way Chelsea played the last few weeks is how you are supposed to play Big Brother. Chelsea was really subtle, but impactful with few words. She talked game the least among the house guests, laying low after the house flipped on her. That's true. She laid low, recovered, was able to make a big move. And then Fates Gates said that Leah is one of the most ruthless, ruthless players I have seen the last few years. I agree to an extent with that. I do think that Leah doesn't really care about her relationships clearly she's out for herself and she's really playing a good floater game now now that she has clocked into play um she's able to float around the house without being a target the main thing that she has going on is she has quinn and joseph wrapped around her finger the problem i still have with leah is that she never really appreciates that she has that and uses that to make any moves but I will say last week when there was a possibility of her going up on the block, that is when she tried to use that to her advantage. And it did kind of work. So yeah, Leah's doing good. Um, another person doing good, though, and Twitter's never going to want to hear it, is t -Core. Listen, the Twitter and some of the, the loud talking heads on YouTube as well. I mean, I don't listen to anybody else on YouTube. There's a few people I will listen to occasionally. Um because I know they listen to me occasionally, but that's about it. But I see clips on Twitter sometimes of the talking heads on YouTube and the T core hate is all emotional. They can't handle the, the game that she is playing. And T core herself is emotional and that is her biggest downfall. But honestly, the most ruthless player in the house isn't Leah, in my opinion. It's T-Core. 
T Core is such a selfish player, but that's how you're supposed to play Big Brother. You are supposed to be looking out for yourself first and foremost. And now the new HOH Quinn nominating two of T-Core's biggest allies in Rubina and Chemo, but you'll notice that T-Core is not one of the allies. And Quinn was in the visionaries with Chemo and T-Core, but as I've been saying for weeks, it's Chemo that Quinn has a problem with and not T-Core because T-Core actually has this really unique but great social game where there are a lot of people in this house that kind of recognize that they need T-Core. Chelsea recognizes that she needs T-Core. Quinn recognizes that she, he needs T-Core, that, that T-Core is good for some people's games in the house. Obviously, Rubina and Chemo now definitely need T-Core with Tucker out of the house. There are a lot of people in the house that do need T-Core. Tucker gets all this credit for playing this chaotic game, and it was very entertaining. He was nonstop chaos, making plenty of moves that were dumb that got him sent home. As HOH last week, he overplayed, and now this week and many weeks, volunteering to be on the block, which did him in for once this week. He couldn't rely on comps forever. t game is also chaotic, but t game is organized chaos where Tikor will think about things sometimes too long but she's always thinking about what is best for her game and in a season like I said earlier where alliances don't mean anything and Tikor has been one of the biggest issues with alliances not being able to prosper it's hard for me to understand why Twitter hates her so much and why Twitter tries to pick apart every little thing she does. I mean, I actually understand why. It's emotions. People are too emotional. Like, the people that watch this show hate players more than the players themselves usually do. Like, the players usually get out of these seasons and kiss each other's asses after the season is over, while the fans still hate on everyone. They're emotional because t flipped on Cedric, and that's where the Cedric stands are um, mad at her. Um, the, there is a certain segment of the fan base, the, the Nation of Domination segment of the fan base, an inside wrestling joke that some might get, um, wanted t to work with all the black players, even though Cam... Cedric and Chelsea didn't include her in the alliance. So they were mad at t for flipping on Cedric, even though it has, in my opinion, still worked out for t game because t is always down for a flip on anyone that might be close to her because she has a social game to still not make her the main target. Then there is a segment of the fans the Fox News segment of the fans that just swear that she only wants to help the black players, which makes no sense because she obviously... That gets the opposite view of the other segment of the, the fandom where they're mad that she flipped on Cedric. This segment of the fandom seems to somehow think that t only wants to work with black players, but she was a part of the flip to vote on Cedric, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, then there's a segment of the fans that just swear that t cares more for Chelsea and will save Chelsea's ass more than Chelsea will save hers. Wrong again. Chelsea wants t in this game for most of the long haul. Will Chelsea try and cut t in the final three, final four? Yeah, but that's still a long way away. Chelsea is a smart enough player to realize that t is good for her game, just like t is a smart enough player, player to realize that Chelsea is good for her game. I know, what a concept. Blowing people's minds on Twitter, probably, because they can't see the nuances of the game. In a season where the alliances don't mean anything, people are getting upset with t HOH when they just don't understand t game. 
People cannot fathom this season that alliances don't mean shit. That alliances, for once, finally, don't mean shit. I mean, I love it. I've been asking for this for years on this damn show. It's nice to finally see a player like t that don't give a damn about these alliances. These past players on Twitter crying about how t had two of her alliance members on the block and one went home. t doesn't care. t doesn't care because it wasn't the worst thing for her game. That's been her entire game. Organized chaos. Letting these alliances crumble one after another. It's why she said weeks ago she's sick of making these alliances. Because she's one of the only people that realized in the house, apparently, that these alliances continue to crumble week after week after week. And these, these people on Twitter so emotional that Tucker went home. These past players just crying that he went home. Wah, wah, wah. Somebody please put Janelle out back. She's put grandma out back. Take old Yeller to the shed and put her out back. She was just loud and wrong on Twitter all night last night. Just saying, I'm, I don't want floaters to win, so I'm rooting for Joseph. What is Joseph if not a floater? Because he ain't anything else. I could tell you that much. Just loud and wrong. Now, in saying all that, I will say that t is not completely in the clear this week. Like I said in yesterday's video, it's this week and maybe next week that I think could she can be in a little bit of danger. She's wanting to throw Quinn under the bus later in the week, smartfully wanting to do it after the renoms. But she could still be a renom because of... Quinn wants to make this big alliance. Who is the renom? She, he wants to work with MJ right now. He's never going to put up Leah. He's not going to put up Joseph. I, I think if he turns on Chelsea, then he turns on Cam. If he turns on Cam, then he turns on Chelsea. So Tikor does have a possibility of being a renom. Now, I don't think she's going to be a target over Rubina or Kimo. Um, however, the only chance she has a shot of going home this week is against Angela. If t is on the block come Thursday after AI Arena, still on the block against Angela, t could go. I mean, she would have Rubina, Kimo, and Chelsea's vote to stay. She would only need one more, I believe, in this scenario. Leah has a final two with Angela, but Leah also really likes t -Core. I don't know who Leah would vote for in that situation. Um... I would like to think that Cam would probably be the only other number she needs to stay. Honestly, even Joseph would probably vote for her to stay. So, like, this is the only scenario where I see t possibly going home this week is against Angela. But even then, Angela's going to actually have to put in some real work for once and not just be a spiraling mass of paranoia to stay over her. So, the only reason I think t could go home is, like I said yesterday, Angela's kind of more and more being seen as this person that's not a threat to win the game. But also, is she really good for anyone's game? Not exactly. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Quinn is HOH. How many mistakes will he make? Nobody knows. It's usually a ton. So far, I think the only mistake is... The chemo nomination, honestly. But at the same time, I really understand why he wants to work with MJ. But, like, that relationship just is not there. As decent of a social game that Quinn has, it hasn't been very good with MJ. So, I still think that's the only iffy part. I do think he could have tried to work out something more with chemo rather than piss chemo off here. But Kimo could very well go home this week. You know, Rubina might be Quinn's target, but Kimo is probably the bigger threat of the two. So I can see others wanting Kimo out over Rubina. Yeah, we'll see how the week plays out. The games to watch, though, Chelsea, Leah, Tikor, for me, I do think they're in the best 
Well, I think Leah and Chelsea are in the best spots. I think Tikor is in a worse spot than she was a week ago by winning that HOH last week, which is where I think Quinn will probably be next week because he didn't need this HOH. But Tikor has enough people still to be safe. It's why she's not on the block this week. It's why Twitter can do all this crying, being emotional, because people aren't playing with alliances. Wow, wow, wow. It's a new game for once. Enjoy it. God. Um, Quinn, I think Quinn's trying to have people, but I think Quinn is more a number for other people than he can get numbers himself. I, I just think that's the predicament he's put himself in without being able to stop himself from yapping and making so many mistakes. Like, he has Joseph now, but, like, what is that? Because what does Joseph have? Who does Joseph have? I'll wait. Who does Joseph have? Tucker's gone. He don't have Leah. Leah's the biggest floater in the house. Joseph has nothing. So having Joseph doesn't really help out your game, Quinn, but we'll see if these two super fan nerds can ever figure out a good game this season. If Joseph will ever have any game this season, or if they will just be the two super fan nerds wrapped around Leah's fingers for the rest of the season.